so hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video i will be explaining the problem maximum candies allocated to k children which is a very nice binary search problem so uh, i hope you have read the problem well uh, so i will be first explaining the approach to the problem and then i will be coding it and by the way do like the video and subscribe the channel if you are a regular viewer on my channel so let's begin so the problem is saying with that you have got a uh, piles an array saying uh, there are some piles of candies and there are k children and you have to allocate uh, these uh, maximum number of candies to the these k children i hope you have read the problem well so uh, basically the problem can be boiled down into two problems uh, so the first part is that suppose you have this array 5 8 and 6 and you have k is equal to 3 okay so the first problem is that let's assume that you want to distribute two candies to each child okay in that case how will you determine that if you decide that uh, you have to distribute two candies to each child then how many children you can distribute them into so that will be given by let's say 5 by 2 is equal to 2, 8 by 2 is equal to 4, 6 by 2 is equal to 3. So 2, 4, 6, 9. So it means that if you decide that I will uh, distribute two candies to each child, then the maximum number of children that you can give candies to is 9. Okay. So this is possible. So this will be the first uh, uh, part. And the second part is that how do I get that I have to distribute two candies to each child or not two or three or four so this can be determined by using binary search okay so let's say in this example only uh, i have decided to uh, distribute two children two candies so what i will do is that uh, in the beginning only i will calculate that uh, let's say zero plus eight plus one divided by two is equal to let's say I will start with four candies okay so in if I decide to distribute four candies it is possible and uh, if it is uh, it is possible so what I will do is that I will increase my count to five okay and if it is possible then I will increase my count to six uh, and if six is not possible then I will get my answer as five okay uh, and so that's all the approach to solve this problem so let's start coding it and by the way i would like to thank uh, lee's solution i refer to his solution it has a really nice explanation so in his explanation blog uh, he has uh, given a wonderful tip that i really liked is that this tip too whether uh, it is often confusing that uh, what you have to take left plus r plus 1 by 2 or l plus r by 2 so here he has explained that uh, he has said that if you want to get the first valid element then you can use l by l plus r by 2 and if you want to get the last element valid then you should use add plus 1 so in our case uh, we have to get uh, our answer should be uh, on the right side of this uh, what whatever numbers you have you can choose so that is why we are taking uh, this l plus r plus one root okay so now let's begin the coding part so first thing first will be i will write int l is equal to zero int r is equal to what let's take the maximum element star max underscore underscore element it is you can take a constant very large number also but i'm just taking this number dot begin it candies dot end okay now what i will do is write i will write a binary search so while l is less than r i will uh, calculate the mid mid number so long mid is equal to l plus r plus r plus 1 by 2 so this will be the my first assumption that i will distribute mid number of candies now uh, i will make another variable long k possible so this will tell that how many 
among how many children I can distribute this mid number uh, this number of candies zero mid number of candies now let's write it so for int i is equal to zero i less than candies dot size i plus plus okay so my k possible will be possible is equal to mm, can these i divided by mid so in this way i will get if i decide that i have to distribute mid number of candy to each uh, child then i will uh, get an answer that i can maximum distribute among uh, like these many children now i will compare this my k possible with the k that i have been given so if k is greater than k possible this means that i can distribute more candies okay so i will reduce uh, r is equal to mid minus one okay uh, sorry if k is greater than k possible then it means that i have to reduce my number of candies to each child okay so uh, this will be the first if condition and else if like k is less than or equal to k possible then it means that i can increase my number of candies to each child so l will be equal to mid and this will go on until l is equal to r and in the end i will just return l so now let's compile this so it is compiling successfully now i will just submit it so it got submitted so this was the problem a very nice problem i th think so if you like the video do like the channel it helps other people determine that this video was helpful so thank you and have a nice day bye